hello so we'll be uh, simulating a case of a ball rolling down a hill so we need a hill for that right so there is a built-in function called peaks in matlab and octave which generates this hill for us um, it's a function it's a surface plot of a function of a two-dimensional function so in order to use the same function let me see what it is if i type help peaks it gives me the information about this function and it also gives me the function which is being plotted in the graph just shown so let me copy this uh, let me copy this and um, let me exit and create a file called uh, rolling ball.m right in the text editor And this is the function all right so um, but what I would need is a symbolic function I'll tell you why later on so for symbolic functions I need this sims command right I have two fun two uh, two variables two symbolic variables so I write this command and um, this is the function that I have let me open up octave again and uh, let's call this rolling ball so it, does, it says uh, sims is not loaded so octave users you have to load the package first and now you can call this all right so this is the function that i have symbolically let me <clears throat> make the further changes needed for needed to set the ball in motion so rolling ball right and what i need is um, okay um, so what you need is some information about gradients some knowledge about gradients which i will not be uh, you know giving to you in this particular video i just want to show the demonstration so uh, but think of it this way that if you start from a certain point on the hill uh, the direction in which the ball will go down depends upon the gradient or, or the slope of the hill at that particular point so if you had a 2d slope you could uh, if you had a 2d uh, hill you could uh, calculate a simple slope but you have a 3d slope here right so you need gradient gradient gives you the changes with respect to x y and z all the three directions and how do we calculate the gradient of this of this function simple enough so let me call the gradient um, gx in the x direction right so and i can use the function called gradient to calculate that so gradient of function f in the x direction right then uh, gradient of function y in the y gradient of function f in the y direction and gradient of function f in the in z direction let me see if it is recording yep all right so these are th these are the three gradients uh, that i have um all right what else do i need what i need is i need to convert them into matlab functions because i didn't want to you know do the uh, uh, differentiation manually i use the symbolic package of matlab to do it for me but once all that is done, I can convert them to MATLAB functions. Uh, the one in which we write at x, y, so that we can pass in values. Anyway, so let's do that. Uh, so f is equal to MATLAB function f. Similarly, let me uh, copy this and paste. So the next one is, uh, quickly, what's the next one? SGX. gy and gz all right so i have <coughs> matlab functions okay now let me plot it now let me plot this uh, function first uh, so that i get that hilly region the function uh, is um, so i need to create a grid for for me to plot the function right i need values of x and y where i'm going to plot the function f so let um, x be values between minus um, 2.5 to 2.5 and how many values around how many values do I need so let n be uh, 50 so I need n values n linearly spaced values between minus 2.5 and 2.5 let me copy this and um, paste the second one I need is uh, y and let that also be the same all right so now I need the grid which is x comma y mesh grid x comma y I'm going to reuse the variables I'm going to store on top of it 
okay now I can plot surf which plots the surface plot for x comma y at f of x comma y right let's see if I am able to get the plot let's say z is undefined here uh, line 11 so let's look at that line 11 there is no z hmm. yeah because there is only two radians I, uh, in like in trying to do it fast I added this extra line so let me get rid of this there are only two right there only because we are in a, we have a function of two variables x y so we have variance along those two directions <sighs> so I forgot to get rid of this as well fine so we have this all right Right, so let's see. Okay, so if I want to, you know, set a ball rolling, I have to, I have to pick a point where it starts. So let's pick this point. This point lies somewhere, um, I think it around 0 and uh, 2. Okay, 0 and, yeah, 0, 2. Looks like that. Fine. So look me at this. This is 0 somewhere here and 2. So let's pick these values and continue editing. So let me do hold on first. Let me get rid of the sound again. Hold on, and uh, let me pick up two values. Let me call x pause, which is uh, zero, and y pause, which was two. I can just you know plot it and check if that's the right. Is that that's the place where I want it? So I use a three plot three command because I'm going to be plotting in three dimensional space. So x pause, y pause, and what's the z value? It's the f of x pause comma y pause with what with a with a with a round marker red color and let me also color the face marker face color to be red where is it can I see it Yeah, it's here. Okay, so it's obviously going to fall down this. So I think it would be better if I uh, choose instead of um, instead of two, if I choose um, let's say uh, one point five. All right, so let's do that quickly. Let me get rid of this and one point five and plot it. Yeah, so this uh, looks like a fine place to start because it should fall down. On this side it'll have more area to cover so now let's see how we can set the ball rolling all right so first i want to specify the number of steps that i'm going to take so for example i'll take 100 steps or 50 let's, say, let's not take too many steps so i'm going to cal calculate my uh, new position at each of these steps so i have to run a loop that goes from one to n steps right uh, so how do i calculate the new position so the new position will be given by x pause. So remember what gradient is. In short, gradient of a function at a point gives you the rate, gives you the direction of the greatest increase, right? And the rate and the magnitude of that gives you the rate of the increase. So if you take a function, if you take the uh, gradient of a function, right, uh, then you you know the direction in which the increase is going to be maximum so if i know that direction i can multiply that by uh, the amount of uh, the amount i want to move into a particular direction so that will give me that will give me the uh, change in position along that direction so remember the gradient gives you the in greatest increase right so if i multiply it by minus 1 i get the great uh, the direction of the greatest decrease Right. So I know the ball is going to fall where the direction, where the uh, rate of descent is the greatest. So that's why I need to. That's why what I do is I multiply it by minus one, or I simply write minus times gradient. So that is g x, right? G x times, and it is uh, it is evaluated at x pos, y pos, and I need to multiply it by the step size that I'm going to take in that direction so that's dx I need to specify what dx is so that will be 0 0.01 and 
there will also be dy which is 0 0.01 right so uh, let me store that in a variable called xtemp i cannot update it now because let i'll tell you why i cannot update it because i need the values of x in the second equation as well so i cannot change it just yet because if i change it then this will become the new value which i don't want so y temp is y pos minus uh, gy which is the gradient in the y direction times dy right and now x pos is equal to x temp and y pos equals y temp right so now let me um, plot it so let's just copy this line and let me paste it here all right let me see if this works okay so as you can see the ball started rolling down the hill in this particular direction which makes sense it does seem like it will come to this direction right but it has a long way to go so i can maybe i can increase the number of steps and let me also animate it the way i do that is um, by uh, first let's increase the number of steps so let that be uh, 150 and uh, what i do is i type a command called pause so before plotting each frame it pauses for let's say 0 0.05 seconds and let's let the ball roll down the hill so it's rolling all right but um, has it stopped it seems it has so let me uh, change some uh, parameters so that I get a better roll down the hill this was too quick i guess so 0, 0.0 0 0.1 yeah that should be good and let me change the initial position slightly so instead of 0 let it be minus uh, 0.5 all right so uh, let me run it again i couldn't actually view it i was busy switching windows let's wait for some more time let's pause it for uh, a longer time so 0 0.5 i guess yeah. and let's not take these many steps let's take 100 because it would run out of place to roll down and let's run it so as you can see it is in fact coming down this point and then it's going into this uh, valley all right so i hope uh, this was fun <laughs> so what you can do is you can now uh, what you can do is uh, mm, there are many things that you can do one thing that you can do is choose some other function for your hill and see how your ball rolls down that hill so this is just a uh, exercise for amusement it doesn't really have well it does actually what you're doing right now is called gradient descent and you can use this algorithm to train your machine learning algorithms but uh, that will come later on if you want to just have fun with some mathematics and octave and matlab mathematical tools uh, then you can use this so thank you for watching and i'll uh, i'll see you in the next video